Hey, hey, what is happening? All you mechanical maniacs, first Quasar here. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and welcome back to Rot to Rad. Yes, this is where we take cars from the junkyard. We make them into something radical, as you can tell from my front lot here. Um, last week, we did this Volvo. We did Volvo, uh, the coupe here, right? Now, usually this is a station wagon, but this is a Volvo coupe. And just to make it just a little bit more fun, we gave it, uh, gave it some snowboards on top. It does have a V8 in it. Uh, nice green color. So that's... Um, not that green, but you know, you get the get the point. So it has this nice green color all the way underneath. And the green color just kind of came in with um with it being St. Patty's Day. So yeah, so why not do something different, right? Um, but uh you casted your votes. You either told me you wanted me to sell it or to save it, and by a score of three to two. I get to keep it. I get to save it. So um, I'm going to have to put that into the parking lot. There we go. All right. So that's part of the whole fun of this is that you guys get to participate. So whatever I build, you get to tell me whether or not I should keep it or if I should sell it. Now I'm working in sandbox mode, so money isn't really an option. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I have all these cars in the parking lot. So, hey, it's up to you whether or not I keep it or not. Right? Right. So... This is what we're gonna do. Um, for the Rot Rad series, what we end up doing here in Quasar's Customs is we go out to the junkyard, we find something we haven't built before. Uh, hopefully it's under 150,000 miles. We'll bring it back in here and we will make it into something that's a little more radical. Uh, we are not allowed to use the same paint scheme that it has when it comes into the shop. And hopefully, like I said, it's something that we haven't done before. Now, if it was done before and it was voted uh, for a sell, I may have a second chance to try to bring it back in and try to do it a little bit better and have you guys tell me, yeah, 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 we can uh, save it. But, you know, that's all up to you guys. So let's get at it. Let's get to the junkyard and let's see what we can find out there, shall we? Let's go. All righty. This is where the fun begins, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, a Range Rover. Um, or should you say Land Rover. 79,000 miles. Um, not really a big fan of the Range Rovers, actually. And I think I've already done one, and it was a seller. Uh, Supra. Uh, 96,000 miles. We've done a, we've done a couple of Supras in this series. Believe it or not. So, I'm going to pass on both those. Alright, uh, we have the Bandit Pro Touring at 191. We have done one, but it's 191. It's a Falcon we've done. Uh, Ford Mustang. We actually, I think we have done the Celine version. I'm not quite sure. I have to look at my stats. Um, the BMW uh, 850, we have done. A lot of these I've already done, so it's going to be really, really tough for me to find something that I haven't done. Uh, Bronco with a 302, 184. Uh, Range Rover pickup, that 146. Uh, and a charger. This is Maximus 209. We have done Maximus. Uh, another Dodge Charger, another 57 Chevy. What are you at? 227. Uh, 135 for the Bel Air. We do have a rest of mod out there. On We've already done one. Oh my goodness. What is this one? It says the cream interior. 218 double cab. Um, yeah, I like these things. Really wanted to have something. Wanted the sport version. I think the sport version is a little bit better. Uh, BMW we've done before. Uh, WRX we've done before. Oh my. This is going to be painful. Uh, the Panther Mark 1, 155. So that's over the 150 mark. The supercar back there. Is this another Volvo? Uh, this is the Valson. This is like the Volvo, so it's the same, same thing. Cab, we've done that before. We've done this one before. Yikes. Uh, Cordoba. Ooh, wait a minute. Is it? Is it? Ah, 141. We have not done a Cordoba. Cordoba. This is like, what kind of a car can you do with a Cordoba? 
right? What can you what can you do with this? What can you do with this to make it look cool? This is just a huge car. Um Cordoba. Yeah. Um I think that's 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 our winner. Porsche Audi GTX and oh yeah, no the Audi. Yep, yep. I think this is this is, the Cordoba is going to be the winner winner chicken dinner here. Um and I already know what I want to paint it. Okay, so let's take a look here. Buy price is just under its value, so it's good to go there. I'm good with that. Cordoba. This is a huge car. All right, let's get back to the garage and see what we can do with it. All right. Oh, look at this thing. All right, let's go ahead and just rip everything off this already. Um, there's no need in even... Trying to do anything with any of this up here. Uh, don't need any of that. Windows out of here. Window, window, trunk, tail lights, uh, license plate. We're getting rid of all of this crap. All this stuff is coming out. Um, even the seats. We're going to take the seats out of it. All right. Is that everything that's going to come off the outside? I think so. Looks like it anyway, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's send you, send you over to the car wash. Let's get rid of all the dust and the gnats and all the crap out of it and see what we have to work with here. It is the, the beige interior. Beige interior is gonna what's gonna throw me off, and the beige uh, tonneau cover here. I'm not calling it a tonneau cover. This uh, quarter quarter vinyl top here. Oh, that's okay. So that's probably gonna get fixed. And it's kind of like a tan color where you, your interior is almost beige. So this is gonna be an interesting, interesting. Uh, Thing of trying to balance a good uh, color for this thing because I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I could go dark green. For, no, I'm not going to do green anymore. I'm kind of sick of green, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I know I am. Um, so that's not going green. A uh, thousand bucks for the resto of all the rust. Let's see what it looks like after we get all the resto of the rust. It is a white color, almost like a grayish color. Um, but that is not going to be what we do with this and does it have any engine swap options i don't think so oh my goodness look at this this is a v8 la 360. look at the horsepower a 193 what are these people talking thinking this thing's a boat this thing's a boat so we're going to have to definitely give it some uh good horsepower i uh, got some drum brakes in the back uh, looks like we got plenty of space to put some big old meaty meats in the back here. So that's going to be a thing. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> let's just get started. I'm going to clear up my inventory and just, just uh, get rid of all these parts because I don't need any of them. Um, there we go. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start ripping this bad boy apart. And then I will start. I'll come back after we've uh, kind of uh, started getting this stuff when we've got it all kind of cleaned up and painted and then uh we'll get we'll get going with the assembly process and then we'll see what we can go from there all right all right you guys hang out uh grab some popcorn i'll be back in a few minutes all right uh here we go so i went with the interior color that's pretty much what the interior interior color looks like um, if you can get a good match, it's close. It probably could have gone a little lighter, but I, I have a good, I have a good idea of what I want to do with the, uh, color on the body itself. And I think you guys are going to really, uh, really appreciate the color combo here. Um, we did chrome that all up. Uh, the shock absorbers, I did, did stake with black. Now with the drums, this is going to be a little bit of a shock. I kept the inners like uh, the rear end, the color to paint it at the rear end. Um, but the hub itself, 
why does that not want to? Maybe because I don't have I don't have that stuff in the inside. That's why. Um, let's go ahead and put this all back here. So the the brake hub itself is going to be like steel black. It's going to be a flat black. I'm thinking that if any wheel that I put on this thing if it has any um, any opening. Oh, I didn't get a differential cover. I need that. Um, that's what it's going to be. It just, it'll just show through. So here we go. I'll show you what this is going to look like. And I may change this up after I... So that's a steel black look on the outside of it. Um, all right, let's get... Suspension. Uh, got that. Got the rubber bushing differential cover. Boom. Done it. And uh, let's go and take care of this paint shop, paint booth back here. And yes, I do want to chrome it, so. All right, where are you? There you are. One thing I forgot about the whole thing, because it didn't have it in there. That's what the thing is. Okay, normal. Here we go, chrome. Done. Ran into those walls, those doors, I don't know how many times. Ah, oh, man. All right, so the Cordoba is going to get a touch of elegance right here with the chrome. The black, right? So we got the black shock absorbers, the steel, the steely black uh, drums, brake drums. And then we have the beige colored in, uh, interior color coming down into the... Come on. Why don't you want to go? There we go. And then we added chrome accents down here as well. So we're going to do the same with the front end, right? That's exactly what we're going to do with the front end. Uh, so the rubber bushings, right, going to be black. I'm not going to do anything fancy with them. You know, no red or yellow bushings. I'm just going to keep them kind of uh, keep them kind of clean, keep them kind of uh, normal. Now, I probably could paint these drums a gloss black instead of the steel black. The steel black is, you know, kind of like a flat black looking. Um, but, uh, I think it'll be okay. It's going to be underneath a wheel, so, and I don't have any decided which wheels I'm going to put on this thing yet. I just know, expect some real fat whiteies back here. Yeah, is there, these, these, I guess put some wide meats back here. As, as wide as possible. I may even go wider beyond the Fender Wells just to give it that um, old look, right? All right, what do I have in here? I got the drive shaft. Oh, the pinion. Let's get that in there. Let's get that installed real quick. All right, so there we have it for the rear end. And it doesn't look too, too bad. It doesn't look too bad. All right, let's rip the, I'm going to rip the front end apart. I'm going to take the engine out. And then uh, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes with all the parts all painted. And I'll probably work on the engine compartment as well. So I'll be back in a few minutes and uh, see how we've progressed. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and put the body parts on there. I figured I needed to because I'm soon going to be fitting up some wheels and tires to this bad boy. And I needed to have front fenders on it before I did that just to get a good feel for how it's going to look so I went ahead and put the body parts on there um, it probably save a little bit of time just because I'm thinking about just go ahead and letting you guys come along with me as we build the engine um, typically I just build it and then you guys come back in later like I'm doing with the painting of all this stuff but I'm trying to mix it up just a little bit in this video maybe do that. I mean, it just seems seems only fair to let you guys see what I'm doing to the engine, right? Um, there we go. Got the big old brimbos on, on bimbro, bim, brimbos on the front. Go. Lower control arms. Nice polyurethane, polyurethane or polypropylene uh, bushings in the front. I think that's good on that side, right? Got that. Go. Uh, everything good? I think everything's good on that side. I uh, did everything underneath the hood, so everything in the fire 
wall area is all completed. We got that underneath the hood done. Um, so the inch compartment is ready to go. Not a big deal there. Um, like I said before, anything that's a performance part, I'm going to try and... I don't think I have so Because this thing only has like 190, 100, what, 193 horsepower. I am going... To, it's, 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 just, it's just un just ungodly how little horsepower this thing has. So I'm going to do my very best, my very best, to give it as much horsepower as possible. And if that means uh, three-starring all the performance pieces that I can't, then that's what I'm going to do because this thing deserves some horsepower. I mean, come on. This thing is a boat and needs to scoot down the road. And if it doesn't have any... <laughs> doesn't have any muscle behind it what good is it and this thing's going to look like it needs it has muscle when i get done with it so you know so that's that's my plan three star all the performance parts as much as possible to get that performance out of it um i think we are done with the front end i think we are done with the uh everything underneath the front Let me take a look here yeah we can go ahead and get rid of that and that's the engine v8 la 360. <sighs> okay, so it'll, this will be a first time I've built this one, so this is going to be this is going to be different. All right, so let's just get to it, shall we? Um, we want to build the eight. With all the Hemis. LA360, right there. So this is the bad boy we are going to build. Look at that, 193 horsepower. That sucks. Um, so we need to give it as much boost as possible. So that's what we are going to attempt to do right now. So this is my process of going through it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the engine block, check, um, Ignition coil and all that. I need to get over to the tune shop. So I'm going to go to the tune shop, get the, that, and get the fuel filter. Now that I've got those, I'm going to take those back to here. And I'm going to give it as much performance as possible. It's, it's not a whole lot. It doesn't look like it's a whole lot, but I think every little bit helps, especially with this thing at 193. My lord. Um, the engine, the engine block, I am going to paint it the same color as the underneath. So we'll go everything fully paintable. This is the color it is. Pretty. Um, paint away, my friend. Paint away. Um, also, the fuel filter, we are going to paint glass. So it looks like this is the fuel. These are the fuel filters I'm used to seeing. That way you can see the, the fuel go through it, right? It's just, it's kind of cool. Uh, I am going to leave this with a little splash of red under it. Um, I think it does need a little bit of red here and there. So let's go ahead and get the oil filter, camshaft, and crank right out of the way. And then we know, um, let's see if we can get the, Camshaft, yep, camshaft. We'll go ahead and get um, these parts here. Bounce over here. We'll get that one. Um, little filter there. I will leave that yellow. So we'll put the crank in. Go ahead and get a little filter in. It almost matches the car anyway, so that's not a big deal. Uh, this back here, what are these? Piston with Conrad. So that's nothing more than, okay, so cool. Here, piston, piston with Conrad. We'll get eight of those bad boys. Back here, we know it needs a cap. Crankshaft is going to need at least three of those. 
And each of the pistons are going to require one of these. And then we get rings. Piston rings. Eight of those. So this is my process of building these engines. So now I've got a lot of pieces that are ready to be upgraded. Three start, as they would say. We are going to three star each and every one of these pieces. That's okay, that's good. Alrighty. So how that, that's how that's going to take place right there. about the heads. Route bearing. There we go. There we go. Now we need two heads. That head and that head. Right? We don't need a flashlight. And we can install the camshaft. <laughs> We need the gear as well and the distributor. There we go. Um, so we're going to need the cam gear. This is going to come from here, right? Um, engine head and ignition. That's going to come from performance shop, I believe. Yep. And then distributor. Okay, with the distributor, engine parts here. I'll have to look, but I think it's going to require I think it's just that distributor cap. I oh. And what is the rotor? Where's the rotor at? There it is. <clears throat> All right. Got the heads. Distributor. So as you can see, I'm trying to squeeze as much horsepower out of this bad boy as possible. And as you, with you being along for the ride, you know what I'm doing. So you can say later, oh, Hurst, you, you messed up. Um, you didn't three-star this piece. That's why you only got you know, whatever horsepower out of it. Hopefully I don't miss anything. That will be that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and paint up some parts here. Engine parts, I want to keep the same. And I think I'm going to keep the distributor I think I'm going to keep that distributor red. There's too much yellow on here already. So I think I'm going to leave it red. Okay. All right, now I know I'm going to need some clips. Need the intake, exhaust. Spark plugs, push rods, and here. All right. <clears throat> Most of this stuff is non performance related. Uh, 16 of those bad boys. 
climbing chain. Um, God, now rocker. Need, I need 16 of these. Shot. Let's see if we got the intake. Woohoo! Yes, we do. Uh, exhaust manifolds. Two of you, thank you very much. Spark plugs, of course. Eight of you. Alright. Um, yeah, do I want that intake chrome? I don't want to luminize that thing. Um,. Even the spark plugs are going to get three-star treatment. Like I said, I'm going to get all as much of that in there as possible. All right. Timing chain going in. What do you mean I don't have the exhaust manifold A? Oh, no. That's, that's, that's rude. Two different exhaust manifolds. That's just not, that's not called for. I wasted the money on that. Okay. Um, so let's get that. Let's get this. Um, okay. Paint. Intake. What should I paint the intake? I'm thinking just aluminum. All right. What other part did I need to paint? Oh. This piece right here, all right, which is not a big deal. Would you paint it the engine color? There we go. Oof, okay, let's see how we go here. Okay, that's going on. Okay, the chrome looks really good on there. If the aluminum doesn't look good on there, I may take it off and put chrome again. But I think, I mean, we've got a lot of chrome on here. I think that tones it down a little bit. I think it looks pretty good. Um, whoa. Okay. Rod, rods. Let's put the rods in. And the rockers. And then we'll pick up all the other pieces. So what do you think? So... Oh, does it come with the rockers? Oh, nice. Okay. I need two of those. All right. That works for me. All right. Just done. So that means I bought a lot of rockers for no, no, pro, no, for no reason. That's okay. I mean, that's why I love playing in a sandbox. At least you can make those mistakes. Now, if I was over in the barn bargains, I'd be like, I would be crying right now because I wasted, you know, a little bit of money trying to get that done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the valve covers are going to go chrome. Carburetor. Open up the shop. Um, head cover A. Head cover B. Carburetor water pump. Uh, crankshaft pulley. Our steering pump. Carburetor. Let's go back. Carburetor. And power steering. There we go. All right. Crankshaft is going to stay that color. 
the I think I want to put these are gonna go chrome. These are going to go chrome. The... Water pump, I believe I want it to go... I want it, I want it to go aluminum. See how that looks aluminum. It doesn't look too bad aluminum. All right. We have this arm. That covers in the chrome. Get that in. Wires done. All right. Um, carburetor. Carburetor and wires. What do I have here? Uh, carburetor. Wires. Power string. Okay, got all that done. Let's get rid of these pieces. 16 of these bad boys I bought. Steering pump's gonna stay down there in chrome. Um, carburetor. I want to change it. Um, I want some black. There we go. This is what I'm looking for right there. Then I'm going to paint the wires a nice, brilliant red. All right. Gives it some splash on there, doesn't it? Really gives it a little bit of a splash. Okay. Um, so intake. By that. That's going to get chromed. You know it is. Let's go ahead and chrome that thing up. Let's see what else do I need here? Oh, I need to get that piece. This piece needs to be painted. I want to paint it the color of the engine. Then it should be the alternator for that, right? Oh yeah, it's the I6 alternator. Ugh. I don't like those. I mean, who likes those? I, I, I'm not big on those. Um, but I'll leave it as is with a little splash of red on there. Just for the giggles. Um, So 
serpentine belt there. Belt there. Ah, I thought I bought it. Come on. goes on. I didn't three-star the alternator. Son of a gun. I didn't three-star the alternator. See, I told you. There's there's just things I get on a roll sometimes, man. Um, let's take that off. Let's take that off. Let's take this off. That's okay. I gotta three-star the, the air cleaner anyway. So, let's go. Air filter. That. There we go. See, I told you, there's always going to be that one piece I miss sometimes. You're going in there. There. All the belts. Fan. Which I'm going to chrome. go. That looks kind of pretty, right? Alright, let's rotate you to the side there, and we're gonna get the bottom end done. So, while I'm gonna get the bottom end done, um, just thinking about this Cordoba. This has a huge trunk in it, and I've actually painted the underneath, and the interior of this car was the color of uh, the 1972 Impala I had. I don't know if I told you guys this story or not, but we used to go to the drive-in. The drive-in um, would charge you five dollars for a full car load so we'd get some friends and we would park at a local at the gas station that was nearby and they would pile into my trunk i could get five people into that trunk laying down without any problems whatsoever i mean this is seriously um and um they could actually lay in there and we would roll into the into the drive-in and um, charge you $5, and I'd have a carload of people already, you know. An Impala, you could stick, you know, four up front and four in the back. And I think it was only actually seat belted for three in the front and three in the back, but we would, seat belt laws didn't really apply um, back then. But, um, yeah, we would get it. We would get, like, a ton of people into the drive-in like that. All right, we have the engine all built. We are going to take this bad boy off. We are going to stick it in the car. Good. Brand new engine. Woohoo, that's going to be pretty. That's going to be pretty. All right, we're going to close the lid up on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, I'm going to get the transmission done, get the rest of the exhaust done, um, and get the wheels on here and get the entire in the uh, interior ready to go. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. All right. Talk to you in a few. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the wheels that uh, that I wanted to put on here. I figured them out. It's Two eighty five. Went with a 325 on the back of this thing. So they're these are like a classic five spoke, but look at the meats on the back. <laughs> and it fits. It fits so well. Um so yeah, I went with this classic five spoke on this from the rim DLC. I've already got all the the 
fluids in it. I think the only thing I need right now is to put my classic quasar tag on the back of it. Go. Do the floor, see what the stance looks like. All right, so I was hoping uh, uh, I don't know. I was hoping to have more of a stance on it, more of a rake to it, but I guess not. All right, I'm going to take it over to the test path. I'm going to get the wheels taken care of and, uh, and the headlights lined up, and then I'll meet you over in the paint shop, okay? All right, see you in a few. All right, so the color I wanted to paint this thing... Um, Nope. Whole thing. Uh, I wanted to go into the blues. All right. I think it, it'll look good. Not necessarily this blue or that blue. I've got to. I got to tweak it in a little bit, right? So I wanted to get this into a little bit of like get it right there. My saturation good. Bring this down to forty-five. I think. And make this metallic. Metallic makes it look so much better, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. So that is, that right there is a very classic looking, looking beast right there. So that's what I'm going to paint it right there. I knew when I saw this with the, with the tan interior, I needed it, I needed it to go blue, right? I needed it to go blue. All right, let's go over to the dyno. Ah, all right, let's see what this thing has to offer me. Uh, I have to tune the carb. So I don't have a chip in it, but I do have a carb. Um, oh, man. Okay, so I'll go one. That's two. Boom, done. An extra 3%. Love it. All right, I've done everything I possibly can for this thing to give it as much as I can. So let's see what we pull out of it. Ooh, 406 horsepower, 563 foot-pounds of torque. Nice. Put him in a lower C category for the drag rate. Man, I got a lot out of it more than I thought it was going to. There you go. I think I'm going to take, send you back over here first. I think I'm going to tint the windows just a hair. Let's tint the windows. Might as well, right? We've got the equipment. Might as well do it. Um, Going to use the equipment. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go 45% just for the heck of it. Go. All right, let's send you out front and take a look at you in the sunlight. Woohoo. Look, that blue just shines, doesn't it? Blue just flat out shines. Look how big this trunk is. This trunk, you can all kinds of people in it. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Chrysler Cordoba, right? This is a 1978 Cordoba. Uh, 141,000 miles. We were able to squeeze um, a good 406 horsepower out of it. So that is absolutely cool. Uh, engine's been chromed. It's got some red accents in there. So now... Like I said in the very beginning, it is up to you, ladies and gentlemen. What do I do with this thing? Do I save it or do I sell it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'd love to have you. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll talk with you later. This is Squares Gar saying good night, everyone. And I am out.